John, I want to take a couple seconds to talk with you. You've been here all year. You and I had a conversation on the air earlier in tonight's racing program about this racetrack and what it typically looks like on night number one, how it's usually hooked up and locked down in horsepower. Right now, we're seeing a little bit of a combination of night number one, typical Budweiser Nationals on the top of the racetrack, and night number two from the bottom half down. Very unique racing service here tonight. It's very, very tricky right now. Like you said, it is rough but hooked up on the high side. If you get up into one of those ruts, it could be an early night for you, it, as, as you see from, from that O2 and that, that contact, contact between the O2 and the 51B. Uh, it's treacherous up there on the high side. Absolutely, it has been, and it's been a couple guys already tonight. Look at this battle up front with Colin Hibden and the 0-2 of Schlopp. Hibden has been right up there against that curb, and it's working for him so far to get the forward bite he needs. White flag is out that time by. Three-car battle now for the lead out of turn number two. Colin Hill, look at the forward bite in that 48 machine. It has been impressive here, even in the slick. He'll make his way out of three turn wide, four. Coming for the oh, hang car. on. Oh, those are three cars. Two of them were in transfer spots. And they're going to lose all those transfer spots. The guys that were sitting sixth and seventh race their way into the show for tomorrow. What, what, what just happened right there? There were three wide coming in, all kinds of contact, and all three of them went around. And the guys behind them get to the show. And these guys are going to have to race tomorrow to get into the Budweiser Nationals Championship feature. Man, Streeter in the 1X machine just got <laughs> handed a gift there. Yeah, well, well, and look sir. at the 21. As Aaron, Aaron Rodart as well in the 20. That is uh, Lady Luck riding with you right there. <clears throat> Abs- the veteran Steven Streeter in the 1X just cruising around doing what he can, watch his cars go by, and choop, that was, I mean, into the A feature. But see, that was it. It was the last lap coming to the checker. They were all three wide. Somebody had to make a move to get in, and unfortunately it cost three guys a spot. And John pointed that out coming across the coming out of turn two. He's like, look, they're going to do well, yeah, something. Yeah, he called it down the back stretch into three, and we, we, our eyes went there. We knew something was going to go down, and sure enough, it did. We're going to keep with our IMCA modifieds. And, oh, we're going to sport mods. I think we are off when I look at the schedule of what's what right now. Out next should be two Motor City GMZ IMCA Northern Sport Mod B main events. Yep. Yeah, we are way out of <laughs> schedule. That's Okay, here's B main event number one for your IMCA Sport Mods on the inside of the front row out of Bakersfield, the number 13M. That is Matt Mayo. He lines up next to Aztec New Mexico driver Brian Carey in the 55C. Row number two's got the 51G of Gavin Manning and Brian or Jeff Miller in the 3M. On the inside of the third row, driving the number 28J, that is Brandon Jennings from, An- from Lancaster, California. In the 21P, David Pearson from Ridgecrest, California, in the third row. Tyler Blankenship in the 17B from Bakersfield, and Adam Baker from Taft in the 11A make up row number four. In row number five, this is 303 of Kyler Reynolds from Surprise, Arizona, and the 78S of Randy Schweitzer from right here in Bakersfield. The 42 of, Mac- <coughs> of Max Baggett. And Kale Kanky make up row number six. At the back of the pack, bringing up the rear of the field. That is Doff Cooksey out of Brentwood, California, number 57. Tried to get a green flag. I'll tell you what, your flagman's on top of things tonight. He likes him, he likes him tight. Bumper to bumper, door handle to door handle. Yeah, Irwin's always been that way out here. He doesn't he he doesn't give you that extra. It's you know what? You need to be fair, and it needs to be fair from the get-go. And that's how it should be. Yeah, I think that one was yellow on the back straight. We were waiting for that last car to make the grid. So they were giving a little courtesy call, or I believe, as you can see, the official pushing came that out car early. back. So I think they were trying to get that lined up figured out as the 303 is. That's out. Max Baggett in the 42, late to the starting grid. So he will start at the back of the pack. Eleven cars, twelve laps. B main event number one. Five moving on. That's what I'm hearing. Five transfer. Ooh. John, who are we going to watch in this one? Man, one to watch in this one. Man, 
You can't count on Matthew Mayo as they take the green flag off of turn number four. Matthew Mayo would be my guest starting on the pole position. That's a tough draw for the rest of the field. He'll lead the field through turns one and two, three wide. But hang on. Everybody slicing and dicing for position here early in this one. As they come out of three and four, it's going to be anybody's ball game. Looks like that 13M of Matt Mayo going to take lap number one. Mayo now feeling the pressure from the 55 machine. Brian Carey all over him. <clears throat> Gavin Manning gets up, bump, jumps the cushion, but tries to get a run, and he comes in contact with the 55. Look at Manning on the top of the 51. Great run at a turn two down the back straightaway. Now putting some pressure to the leader, Matt Mayo. Mayo off the pace. Looks like he may have... I thought he had a flat right rear for a second the way that car rolled over. He yeah, is it, being pressured big time. Look at, oh, second place into the wall. Oh, my gosh, three wide out of turn two. Everybody doing what they do here at Bud Nationals, giving it all they got. Trouble in turn number two. Right now it's still Matt Mayo, Gavin Manning. Holy cow, he's doing everything he can under the sun or under the moon to try to make that A feature right now. Well, these guys know they've got a limited number of chances, and we're already four laps into this one. Matt Mayo has been finesse. It's been finesse, the line he's running, looking very good in that number 13 machine. But watching that 51 up top, it's getting a little exciting up there. Yeah, and they're going to have a meeting of the minds, and it's called <coughs> exit turn two, exit turn four. <laughs> it's going to be good at the stripe if these guys keep racing the way they are. Little fun fact about Gav Gavin Manning. He's come on strong here in the 2019 season, late in the season. He's picked up two wins in his last three races. One here at the Bakersfield Speedway, one across town at KCRP. Well, that's how you want to come into the Budweiser Nationals on a winning streak. So he's looking very good late in 2019 is Gavin Manning. Well, watching him on the top side of the racetrack and that 51 machine, man, he is real. I mean, he's way up there. He is getting about as high as that track will allow right now, and he's finding something. The speed he's carrying around the top side of the racetrack is good, but we're seeing that bottom line really start to come in. Yeah, once it starts getting really slick through the center, as you can see that it is doing, it's going to get into a two-groove track when that top finally goes away and that bottom starts to come in. It's going to be very, very racy, very interesting. It sets up for a slide job city, mechanical, if you will. Mechanical black flag given to the 11A of Baker because that rear uh, quarter panel quarter is hanging panel. on the ground. Yep. So he's got to get it pulled off so he can get back out on the track. If he hurries up and gets off the track, they'll give him that courtesy lap. But if he keeps cruising around doing nothing, as soon as he, he gets he off got, the track, they're going to go. He got the signal from your back your backstretch official. He's definitely going to have a go at it down here in the turn. You can see he's got a broken right front shock as well. Does the 11 be a baker? So he's a little bit more than cosmetic. He's got cosmetic as well, but that right front shock's not going to be helping him at that all. That is not going to help at all, especially on these modified type race cars. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Baggett in the, 14, in the 42 just pulled off as well. So the official's probably doing a very big favor to that 11B because under power, that right front were to dig into the track, it would shoot straight into the fence and have some heavy contact. So the official's may be saving the 11B big time by getting him off of the track all right we're gonna go green next time around single file restart four laps down eight to go top five going to the show right now you've got the 13 that is matt mayo then the 51 of gavin manning both those two running distinctively different lines see what if anything changes now that they got another heat cycle through Green flags in the air. Mayo on the bottom. Manning back on top. Gavin Manning getting that RPM run on the high side. Able to drive it in hard through three and four. Is it going to stick coming out of turn number four? He's got it. <clears throat> he does. New leader, Gavin Manning in the 51G. Jumps the cushion. Let's Matt Mayo right back into it. But drives away from him down the back straightaway. Man. Manning went into turn one, jumped the cushion, touched the wall, came out of turn two on the throttle. He is absolutely awesome on the exit. It's the center of the turn where he's struggling down here in turn number one. That time a lot better there. 
took a lower line. Around goes one car here. Looks like the 17B. Gavin Manning right now has got that top side of the racetrack figured out. He's really starting to stretch it out over the number two position of Matt Mayo in the number 13 machine. He is, he is pulling away about a car length a lap. Really working that top side, that right rear tire up where the cushion is. Getting it in that cool, moist clay. And it is working right now. He is putting down some good lap times. And look at on the exit. He's where he really stretches it out over Mayo down the back straightaway. Yeah, getting a good slingshot coming mm -hmm. out of turn number two and turn number four and able to just drive away from everybody else. Speaking of driving, Tyler Blankenship in the 17B trying to drive his way up into third spot and does so passing Pearson on the high side. Two laps to go. This time by for Manning in the 51. And Mayo running second. Blankenship. Top three. Pearson. David Pearson sits fourth. White and flag is out for your leader this time out of turn number four. The battle's going to be with the 55 of Carey. He's the fifth and final transfer spot. And he's got the three M of Jeff Miller right there. Miller going to the inside with the white flag in the air. Who's going to be that fifth and final transfer spot? Your winner out of turn number four, Gavin Manning picks up the win. Mayo will finish second, Blankenship. Third went to the 21P. No, third went to or Blankenship. Sorry, fourth, fourth went, to went to 21P. And the fifth went to the 3M three the three of Miller. Miller steals the final <laughs> transfer spot on the last lap. Now, you and I and the rest of the Moxie crew were talking pre-race over at Salty's Barbecue, and you made some uh, predictions about sport mods. I did. And you picked a few cars. I did. Take a look at who's coming up in the B feature. Yep. <laughs> you had to bring that up, didn't you? Absolutely. One gotta of the guys, I, gotta, one of I, the guys I picked to win this whole one. thing will be starting. One. Listen. Well, keep looking. I, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting there. One of the guys I picked to win this whole thing earlier in the pre-race show today, John from Salties, is starting on the inside of the front row in the number 83 out of Bakersfield. That is Jason Nation. And outside of him in the 198K from Yuma, Arizona, is Corey Hemphill. The other guy I picked that would be in the threat to win this whole deal finds himself on the inside of the second row. That is Nick Spain Howard in the number 40 out of Bakersfield. And he lines up next to Santa Maria. San Martin at California driver, Justin McPherson in the number 20. Row number three has got the 27 of Daniel West from Bakersfield and John McKinley Sr. in the 70 machine. Row number four has got the 5B of Jason Pugh and Tina Pounds from Bakersfield. And driving the number 09 out of Bakersfield, that is Brylan Holder. And in the number three, Dylan Potter out of Orcutt, California. Or yeah, my hometown. Then we've got row number six scheduled to appear. I don't see him. He had some troubles earlier. Marcus Frazier in the 15F. And on our outside, the double zero SP, Crystal Hemphill. We've got a Hemphill in the Yuma. front row and a Hemphill in the back, but I don't see Crystal's car. She had some issues in the heat race earlier tonight. Let's see. I think it's back there. Is yeah. it back there? Yeah, the black and green. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. All right. She's out there. <clears throat> So Hemp Hill in the front, Hemp Hill in the back. Jason Nation in Nick the B Spain main. Howard. The B main. Nick Spain Howard. John, what B do you main. think about that? Jason Nation was tough all 2019, finishing second in points, came down to the very last race. He was leading points By going into break. the final race. Uh, Michael Johnson was able to take the win and the points championship in 2019. Jason Nation in that Woodworks Unlimited number 83. Ran hard, finished in the top four. Week in and week out, and he was just hunting for a win, but almost picked up the championship. But now he finds himself in the B main event right here for the Bud Nationals. That's a rare sight right there. Also, Nick Spain Howard finding himself in the B feature. He is always good at this show. One of the guys you always you bet on. I mean, he's one of the guys you talk about winning this deal. He finds himself in the second row of the B main. That right there when these cars rolled out shocked me. Yeah, the Bakersfield Bullet, Nick Spain here, that Terry Henry's race prep number 40 machine. Last year, I think he ran 40-plus races. This year, he may have ran eight. 
So yeah, I don't think he he ran more than a handful or so. Very limited schedule. For